I grow all of my fruiting plants in big pots. So here are my tips for success. Here I have a cherry, a lemon, a little blueberry, an apple tree, and another blueberry back there. You want big pots. 40 to 50 centimetres wide and deep is perfect. You can get away with smaller pots for things like blueberries. Growing in pots means that you can grow fruiting trees where you might not otherwise be able to. Don't forget that potted fruit trees still need protection. So use some small fitted nets like this one or bags like this and keep them safe from birds and Queensland fruit fly. Remember, plants in pots are totally reliant on you for their nutrients. Now you can hook pots up to irrigation using a main line and then individual drippers into each pot. But if you haven't got that, like me, then make sure you're near a water source. For naturally larger fruiting trees like apples, nectarines and even lemons, look out for trees that have been grafted onto dwarf or super dwarf rootstock and this will naturally keep the tree smaller and more compact. Blueberries and these plants also are naturally smaller than large fruiting trees but you'll still get a harvest in pots. So do I repot my fruit trees every year and go up a pot size? No. Instead, what I do is I keep the potting mix topped up and refreshed if I see some gaps on the sides. Every two to three years, what I will do is take the plant out of its pot, remove any of the spent potting mix that is sitting underneath the root ball, replace that with fresh potting mix, and then put the plant back into the same pot. If need be, I can give it a little bit of a root prune and a tip prune at the same time. Obviously, this is best done when the plant is dormant. The way my apple tree has toppled over and see how loose that tree is in the pot? That's the perfect indicator that this potting mix has completely lost its structure. So when this tree is dormant over winter, I'll take it out of this pot and I will refresh the potting mix, remove off any of the decomposed potting mix around the root ball and pop it back into this pot and I'll be able to straighten it up then too. And remember, potted fruit trees or dwarf fruit trees does not mean small fruit. These pink ladies are full sized and nearly ready to harvest. So if you feel like you don't have just the right spot to grow a fruiting tree or a fruiting plant at your place, try it in a pot.